Hello and welcome, fellow criminals, delinquents, and general all-around badasses. I'm your host, Nasty Bones. And before we get started, I'd like to take a second and apologize for how long it took me to get this video out. Last few months I've been moving and I've been quite busy, but everything's back to normal and the video should, should start a flowing again. Okay, now this is an, a continuation of the last two videos on the auto-aim bug. Now, in the second video, I did get mine working again, but for some OPs, it didn't work. Quite a few people it worked for, quite a few people it didn't work for. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments over the last three or four months on these videos, so I sat down, read over them, talked with a few of you guys and I come up with the top 10 that I think that might actually help you fix this bug this issue if you've got it so let's get started tip one now this tip starts off with the basics I've had a lot of assholes suggest this one to me I do believe it's important but you don't gotta be a dick about it go to uh, story mode go to settings and go to controls make sure you're on on foot third person also make sure you're on assisted aim full as well as at the bottom the drive-by control type can be set to aim and fire or fire the difference is aim and fire right bumper or left bumper aims right bumper fires uh, the other one is as soon as you aim it's firing check it see if it's working if it is I would log out uh, of your profile and then log back in that should secure it now tip two is a continuation of tip one go back onto online and check and make sure that these settings are still set in the correct uh, way that you had them in story mode uh, also, you do have restore defaults. If all comes, uh, push comes to shove, hitting restore defaults probably wouldn't hurt. Now, in, uh, in online only, you do have another option in your interaction menu where you can target players. There are three choices, everyone, strangers, or attackers. It should be self-obvious or, you know, obvious what them mean, but make sure those are set on everyone. That way, if you go to aim on someone, you can see if it does the auto-lock. Okay, now tip three didn't actually work or do anything for me, but I did have quite a few OPs mention that it did work for them. Now, make sure that your uh, option settings in controls is in vehicle third person, and it still says uh, assisted aim full. Also, at this point, you could actually go down and check out your aim and fire or just fire to see how that works, and you might like one better than the other. Also, it won't hurt to go into the interaction menu and check out your player uh, targeting priority and make sure it's still set on everyone. Uh, if this does help you, still, once again, I would sign out of your profile, sign back in, it should lock it and secure it. Now, tip four is something I'd like to suggest. Um, I had been doing this and I noticed that once in a while my auto aim would actually work a little bit and then it wouldn't work and then it would work and then it wouldn't work while I was in playing a job what I had done is I joined a game or a job or um, a heist with a low level character this particular character happens to be level 5 join his game or his lobby and if it asks you if you'd like to change your target settings, please say yes on this one. And I'll show that a little later in the video. But when I did join and run heists or jobs with a low-level character, and I was very close beside them, that's when I noticed my auto-aim would actually work. And 
if I got too far away, then it didn't work. So I suggest trying this also after running a lobby with a low-level character. Sign out of your profile, then sign back in. Now, tip five is what actually worked for me. What I did was I created a new character. Now, I didn't have another character, so I don't know if that'll make a difference if you've already got a second character. But I went ahead, I created a new character, and then I went ahead and exited out into the world. Now, before I went, it said, you know, hey, you've already done the uh, online tutorial. Would you like to skip it? Uh, yeah, skip it. Come into the world and see if your targeting is working. And this was actually the first time my auto-aim worked every time I did it. I was so happy when I had this, uh, when this happened to me. And then all I did is went ahead and logged back into my other main character and tried to see if it worked there. And it did. Now, once again, if this works for you or any of these tips work for you, I do suggest logging out of your profile, then logging back in. That has seemed to be something several OPs have mentioned to me over the comments that I've gotten over the last few months. Okay, now tip number six is swap controllers. Now, there was no way for me to really video this, so we're just going to watch my character's swanky ass, slutty, but whatever, walk down the beach, which could probably be a whole video in itself. But anyways, if you happen to have another controller, try swapping them out. Also, check some of the settings on them. See what your settings are in the option menu on your Xbox One. Now, remember, I do play on the Xbox One. These tips are for that particular console. Uh, the next tip I have is for the PS4. Now, I don't have the PS4, but this was a very common tip for PS4 users. And tip 7 is, when you start the game, the minute that the sirens start and the flashing lights, press and hold the right trigger and left trigger together. Now, this may take a couple of minutes for this to, to work. But what's going to eventually happen is your Terms and Conditions Agreement page will pop up. Scroll down to the bottom, and if you have checked Accept, uncheck it, recheck it, and then accept it. Then go ahead and log into the game and see if your auto-aim is working. Uh, I did have, oh, I don't know, several PS4 users suggest this tip and they did say it worked. Now, I did try this on the Xbox One. We do not get the terms and conditions page to pop up on this particular console. So, only PS4. Now, tip eight is more oriented towards elite controller users. I had several OPs say they had to turn their hair trigger off. Also, if you look on the console, Xbox One, you'll find options for your controller and you can make some more adjustments there or look at your settings and see if any of those settings need to be changed or altered. All right, now tip nine is something that I've been seeing just recently, but I have seen this four or five times, and that is to create a new profile. Simply log out of your profile, create a new character uh, on your Xbox One, and log into Xbox Live with it. Once you've done that, log out of that character, log back onto your main, log back into Xbox Live with that, and then enter GTA and see if it works. I'm interested to find out from you guys if this one actually works. Let me know. All right, now for tip 10, which is actually more of a warning. Uh, in the beginning, when GTA 5 first came out, a lot of experienced players created 
free AIM lobbies, and I think that that's what's happened to us. So what happened was a heist came up, I wanted to go play it, I accepted the job, and then an alert popped up. The job activity or session you're trying to join has a different targeting mode. Do you want to change your targeting mode? No. If your auto aim is working, do not ever accept one of them. I think that's what's happened to us. Now, if your auto aim isn't working, then accept that because you may be stuck in a uh, free aim lobby mode and that's why your auto aim isn't working. So if it isn't working, you get one of those, accept it. If it is working, no, don't even take the job because that's what I believe happened to us. Some of the very beginning players created free aim lobbies. They invited players to their jobs, heists, or lobbies. Then those players invited players and so on. And it spread like an, a zombie apocalypse. And now we're at epidemic proportions. Okay, everybody, thank you. I do hope these tips help out and you get back to your mass murder, mayhem, and general killing as quickly as possible. Plus, if there's anything else you guys can think of, please leave them in the comments below. It may help another player. Okay, everybody, thank you once again. Appreciate your time today. And until next time, everybody stay safe and peace.